Now, today I have an amazing guest with me. I absolutely love her. Um, my guest has an MA in Drama and Theatre Studies, a postgraduate degree in Psychology. Uh, she has experience in the development and ex implementation of community projects. She is the researcher and communication manager of the Noakes Foundation. You guys know who this is? <laughs> I know her by working with her through the Eat Better South Africa initiative and I joined them as an affiliate. Like me, she is passionate about helping people live a happy and healthy life. Please welcome my amazing guest, Jana Noratif. Hello, Jana. Hi, Ilza. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to chat to you today. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Eventually, it's taken yes. a while, but we're here. <laughs> Jana, would you please tell everyone um, a bit more about Eat Better South Africa? Um, I know a lot about it, but I would like you to bring it to the table. Tell us about the initiative and yeah, the floor is yours. So the Eat Better South Africa initiative is the community outreach arm for the Noakes Foundation. And it is a six week program where we teach people from under resourced communities to get better by eating better. Um, so after the Noakes Foundation was founded, um, it was soon realized that often it's the poorest of the poor who suffers the most when it comes to healthcare and the lack of knowledge and um, nutritional information. So Eat Better South Africa was founded in 2015 with this in mind, to educate people around nutrition, chronic disease and health. That, that is amazing. And that's exactly why I came in as an affiliate to try and help you support you guys as much as I can from my side. So thank you so much. That, that is a wonderful, that's a wonderful way to live, isn't it? That's, <laughs> it's so much giving in, in a field that you actually enjoy. Um, so how, how did it, okay, you, you just told us how it all started, um, but what have you found through the project? Because you actually had a few women that you helped and trained and looked after them. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it wasn't just me, um, but it was, yes, it's actually quite exciting. So over the past couple of years, Eat Better South Africa has done several community programs. But last year we've done our first ethics approved program. So it was part of an amazing research study. Um, you can look it up on our website. I can give you the link afterwards if any of the listeners or viewers would like to check that out. Um, but during this specific program and, and the previous ones, but we've looked at all the health markers of all our participants before and after the, the program and we found that everyone had something that improved. Everyone's health markets improved. And one of the most amazing things was um, to see how within the first two weeks, some of the participants um, medication for hypertension had to be adjusted because their blood pressure started to get back to normal. And that was really inspiring. Um, so maybe I can just tell you a little bit about what the program entails. So yes, like I mentioned, it's a, a six week program where we look at things like how to reduce um, sugar and refined carbohydrates in a diet, and also specifically focusing on how to make this budget friendly. Um, the majority, well, all of the, the, the communities we've worked with, um, they are from poorer backgrounds. So we really try to, to see how we can show them and teach them to eat healthy, on a financial feasible way for them. Yeah. We also look at things like, um, you know, how to, let's say, for example, um, you have a specific meal you have on a regular basis. How can we make that more healthy or more nutrient dense for you and your family? Um, we teach them about um, food labels and how to interpret those, uh, what to look for when you look at a food label, um, and also about chronic disease and how the food that we eat affects, you know, our bodies. Um, and yeah, and we've had some remarkable results. And like you've mentioned, our affiliate program, that is um, 
also a way where our affiliates and like you could help us sustain these programs. Um, because part of our sustainability model is, you know, we don't just go into a community and do the six week program and, you know, leave. We have ongoing support system um, where we appoint a community coach. We have support via WhatsApp groups. And especially now with the current situation with um, COVID-19, this is this is very important to continue to support these communities. Oh, that, that's wonderful. I, I love what, uh, reading through through your things as well. I've, I've gone dug around a little bit as well. Um, <laughs> but your, your page itself has got a lot of uh, amazing information constantly. So it, I'll put the link for, for your page in the, in, in the post as well. So if anybody is interested, go and like the page, support them. Um, there's lots of information there as well. I share a lot from their side as well. Um, just to spread the news and, and the word as much as possible. Um, this is basically what, what your mission is as well, uh, Jana, is, is to get to the poorer communities and, and help those people who haven't got access to the information and does, well, we're trying to educate. That's, I would assume that's, that's the biggest, biggest thing for you guys at the moment, hey? Yes, yes. I think, um, like, like our mission statement says, our aim is to um, improve the future outlook of human health. You know, and we do that by educating people around what they are eating and also to try and influence the food policies. Um, and we do this via our research and also through our Eat Better South Africa community programs. But I thought maybe I can just say something with you, if you don't yes, mind. Go for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> since we were talking now about our Facebook page and some of the resources we have, but just maybe to show you an example of something that we hand out as a resource during our community programs. It's our, it's called our, I don't know if can you can see that. Yes, it's the Banting well. on a Budget booklet. So often people think it's expensive to eat healthy, but here we have a meal plan with uh, recipes for, I mean, some of it goes down to 20 Rand a day, 25 Rand a day. It goes quite low. Wow. And often what we also found within these programs, we encourage the participants to, you know, share recipes. Um, and we've managed to come down. I think our record for there was 15 Rand a day for a healthy wow. meal. Yes. <laughs> Well, but, the, but this is this is another thing that be, brings people together. It's a community. It's a mm -hmm. community of sharing, a community of educating each other through sharing what you've experienced and, you know, a better way of, of uh, doing it. Because I find that with my, my coaching as well, if I have a group of ladies that I'm coaching, the way that they, they share and, and support each other is so much more valuable than anything I can put in there. It's the community. It's the closeness. And we need that, especially when we do something as drastic as changing your um, your diet, uh, your, your your healthy lifestyle. Um, mm -hmm. The community is is a part of that. It's a big part of that. Um, as you got, you say that you guys have got a WhatsApp group as well with the ladies that you that you have trained. What is the the biggest impact that you have seen that the WhatsApp group has changed or helped them with? I think what you've also mentioned now with regard to the, the support and the motivation um, in terms of sustaining a healthy lifestyle. So often, you know, I mean, even for us, it might be difficult, you know, if you have a family member that doesn't understand or, um, you know, doesn't follow the same lifestyle as you do. So um, with regard to the WhatsApp group, it's, it's, it's definitely having someone else or several other people to talk to about this lifestyle. Um, if there's any specific questions someone might have, um, you know, we can try and help and assist us to the best of our ability. Um, we're not um, providing any, let's say, medical advice, but in the instance, someone might have a question about their cholesterol. How does it work? Should I be concerned about eating a lot of fat? We also have the Nutrition Network, the online e-learning um, platform that was also found by the uh, Nox Foundation and esteemed medical doctors. So we have um, the Nutrition Network we, where we can also go and reach out to some of our medical advisors and say, can you maybe, you know, briefly 
describe to us or you know write something for us or do a short video that we can share with the group of participants um, because they're not understanding this concept or they want to know how can they do this or that yeah, that's a, that, again, uh, you share with one, but everybody else sees it, and so it spreads. And of course, if you have one that's that's got the the, the um, uh, I want, almost want to say the courage to ask a question, and everybody goes and looks as well. So because you do get shy people, and you get people that that are fine with asking questions, and you cover so many more people with one um, piece of information or a video um, instead of just one on one. Uh, um, uh, 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 what do you call it? Getting to, to just one person. So, but while you're talking about the nutrition network, if if you don't mind, can we speak about that for a little bit as well? Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I, I actually took one of your courses already and I'm busy with the second one. I'm busy with the advisory course as well. I absolutely loved the first one I did. I'm halfway through the next one already as well. Uh, they are amazing courses and I would recommend it for if you want to be a coach, if you're a doctor and you want more information, especially um, if you for yourself want more information, it's great as well. So it covers everyone, actually. So Jana, give us more information about that. Yes, yeah, so, well, <laughs> you almost said everything now. But yeah, like <laughs> you mentioned, um, there's depending on your background, depending on your education, there's a course for everyone, if I can put it that way, whether you are a medical professional, whether you are a health coach, um, there are different courses that would suit your needs. Um, I'd also like to mention that the Nutrition Network is also one of our affiliates and the majority of the proceeds gets donated to the Eat Better South Africa program. So we're very grateful for that. Um, and I think the course you've done is the advisor training, um, if I'm correct. Yes. Yeah. So the advisor training was specifically <laughs> developed for people who does not necessarily have a medical degree, but they have, for example, a background in health coaching or personal fitness, or um, they just want to learn more about the low carbohydrate or ketogenic lifestyle and how they can, um, how that can change perhaps their lives or the lives of people they know. Um, so uh, then we also have the other courses for specifically aimed at medical doctors, we have the nurse training um, and actually if there's any nurses out there watching or listening um, for the month of May, the Nutrition Network is offering free enrollment for all nurses. Um, so yeah, it's really fantastic. <laughs> That's wonderful. So if there's, yeah, so any nurses, you can head on to their Facebook page or to their website. I'll also provide you with the link um, and you can apply and enroll there. Wonderful. That, there we go. Wonderful. That's so amazing. I actually did the um, the one for the doctors as well. Um, it's, it's, there's so much information in there because because I've done a bunch of studies of, um, uh, uh, with the low carb um, diet uh, planning and all. That. I've got a bunch of things I've studied, so they let me how, do that course as well. And it's amazing for the doctors out there. I will highly recommend it. It's very detailed and it really does explain what nutrition is and what it can do for your patients. So for any doctors out there listening, that's <laughs> the one to go for, definitely. Yona, what is your uh, vision for the future, for yourself, for um, the Noakes Foundation, for Eat Better South Africa? Yeah, share with us. Okay, so let me start with myself and then I'll take it from there. So um, I think for myself, just with regards to my family and the lifestyle that we are following, uh, maybe I can just mention how I came across the whole low carb keto lifestyle. So yes, when I please. met yeah. my now husband, he was actually doing banting. And at that stage, he has lost about, okay. I think it was 30 to 35 kilograms already. Wow. And by now, I think he's about, in total, he lost about 40 kilograms. So he's the one wow. that actually introduced me to this lifestyle. I've known about Professor Noakes and I've, you know, I've known about Banting, but I personally haven't really um, experimented with it, to put it that way. <laughs> um, but for most part of my life, I've always been dieting basically yo-yo dieting you know then I do mm -hmm. this one then I do that one 
I'm never skinny enough. I am never happy with, you know, the way I look or what I'm eating. And when he introduced me to this lifestyle, we started watching a couple of documentaries and we did a lot of reading. I read all Prof Noak's books at that stage. And I realized like kind of this is it. it's almost that light bulb moment you have. You're like, yep. uh -huh. why <laughs> did no one tell me this before, you know? And I think for me, then a change happened with regards to my attitude towards food and also towards my body. Um, and I can confidently say that I am now not eating for the way I look, but I'm eating for my health and I'm eating to be healthy. Um, and ever since I became a parent, that became so much more important to me because now it's not just for me or for my husband, but it's also for my daughter. Um, and to be an example for her and to show her, you know, what types of food we need to eat to, um, to keep our bodies healthy. Um, and of course, all of this sparked the passion to help um, spread the truth about nutrition um, and the truth about our health. And I'm very honored and privileged to be able to work with uh, for the Nurks Foundation, Eat Better South Africa and all the amazing people. Um, and my vision for the future is, don't want to sound cliche, but the aim to fix the future outlook of human health. Um, and my dream would be for our Eat Better South Africa programs to be rolled out across South Africa in every single community so that the, the message of health um, can be spread um, amongst those that really, really need it. And for people to know and understand that it's not, um, it's not hard to eat healthy, it's not, um, it's not expensive to eat healthy and to be healthy, and that um, you know, no amount of money in the world can buy you your health. And in some sense, your health is in your own hands. Um, so I think that sums it up. Yeah. Oh, I think, I think there's a few of us on that same path, that same mission to spread the word, to, to show, because once you have actually experienced health from within, which also gives you happiness on the outside, once you've actually experienced that, you, you can't know what it is to be pain free, to have a brain that actually works. As you know, I'm dyslexic and I am studying like crazy. I'm still struggling to read that that's not going to change, but I can comprehend so much more because my brain isn't short circuiting and not working. So, like this. so but once you've experienced that health, that joy that you want to show everyone. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, there's a few of us on that same mission. Yeah, I think it's also it's also a realization that health isn't just physical health, you know. And let's say just you know just because you look a certain way, that doesn't mean you are healthy. And um, for me, also one of the most amazing things was how eating healthy affects your mental health, and how that you know just changes your mood, changes your energy levels, um, just your general, I want to say, your general way of experiencing life actually changes. Um, and it's hard to explain to someone like these changes if they haven't experienced it themselves. So I always say, just try it, you know. Um, you know, just try eating, you know, healthy or just try eating, cutting out certain foods, not necessarily changing a lot in your diet, maybe just going yeah. from four teaspoons of sugar to one or to two I mean that's a great start and that already means you're eating better um, yeah. with Eat Better South Africa we often say it's not about eating perfect it's about eating better it's about starting to make those small changes to get better by eating just a little bit better every day yeah yeah and it all adds up yeah eventually when you look you're on the right path so yes <laughs> yes there we go. Thank you so much, Jana. I, ho I hope everybody else also enjoyed watching you, listening, who you are. Um, like I said, I think you're absolutely amazing. I love chatting with you. Always so perky and happy. <laughs> and we want that to spread as well. You know, a little bit of joy in the world. Everybody could use that. 
So, but thank you so much for taking the time, especially in the COVID day and age at the moment. But thank you for your time. Thank you for your willingness. And yeah, if you've got a closing statement you would like to make. <laughs> Um, no, I think I'd just like to thank you for asking me to do the interview and also for being one of our affiliates. Um, I mean, for us to sustain our Eat Better South Africa community programs, funding is often a big obstacle. And one of the ways we sustain these programs is through our affiliate program, where we um, get brands and products on board, which we personally vetted as LCHF compliant. Um, and <laughs> yeah, and um, <laughs> they then donate a certain percentage of their income or of their profits each month that helps us to sustain these programs. So thank you for that. Thank you so much. And we're honored to be part of it because like I said, uh, with the interview with uh, um, Sipu as well, so Sipu, um, it's a way to give back. It's a good way to give back because if Tim Nux didn't speak out and I didn't come upon that, that video, I would not be where I am today. So thank you, thank Tim, and thank everybody else as well. There we go. Thank you so much, Jana, for joining us. Um, I will put all the links in there. You can also send me links that you would like me to share for, with them, and I will put on the video as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Jana, thank you. Have an amazing day. We love you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.